Good morning. This is an in-service for the John Bunn 400A 50 PSI compressor, which is used for trach patients in order to keep the trach humid and moist. It's a very simple machine to operate. It's probably one of the most common ones on the market, and many of you have probably already seen it. Uh, so, that, like I said, it's an easy machine to operate. Let's go over some of the features that you see in the front panel here. First of all, we're going to start with the red button, which is the on-off button. Works just like a light switch. Under the button, you will see another button, which is a reset button. This is used in case you're uh, running the machine and it happens to just turn off for no reason. You just hit the reset button, push it in, and the machine should start right back up again. If it does not, then you'd have to check your outlets and your electrical power. Uh, another feature here is the pressure gauge, which is set at the uh, home care service place before we deliver it. A proof sets it at 25 PSI, and there is no need to adjust. If there is a need to adjust, please contact the office, and we will send the technician to adjust it for you. The last, one of the last things on the front panel is the chrome adapter. This is where you attach your water bottle or your jet nebulizer, which I will demonstrate in a few minutes. The last thing on the front of the 50 PSI compressor is what's called a gross particle filter. This is uh, to be cleaned once you see that it uh, has dust on it or it's gray. It's very simple. You just pinch it and pull it out. And it's practically just like a sponge. You could uh, take it over to the sink and dust the dust off of it, just brush it off, and you, it could be washed with some mild soap and water, and then placed on a couple of napkins till it's dripped, till it's dried, and then it fits right back in there without any fuss. Okay? Uh, going back to this piece right here, the adapter, the water bottle or 50 PS, or the jet nebulizer that goes hooked up to it, pretty much looks like this. It has a place where you can adjust for the humidification and one place to attach the corrugated tubing and one place to attach it to the machine. What we recommend, until you're more proficient at it, is to take off the opaque part of the jet nebulizer and then carefully screw the lid of the jet nebulizer to the machine, making sure that the thread is straight. If the thread is straight, it should go on just like I'm putting it on with one finger so you can't get any more. You feel the resistance better yet and then just tighten it up a little bit. Distilled water or sterile water, depends on what your facility is using, is placed in the jar. There is a low level and a maximum level and you will see two opaque lines that indicate which one is which. Of course low is down here and high is up here or full. Once the water is in, you place this in here, and you and you uh, turn the knob, the bottle, until it's nice and tight. The only thing left to do after this to set up the patient is to put on the corrugated tubing. For this demonstration, I have just used a small piece because there's no need to waste it. The corrugated tubing slides right in here. It's a little snug. And then the other end, and this will be probably longer because it has to get to your patient, goes to a trach mask. And of course, there's only one place to put it, which is right here. And that slides right in here. It's also a little snug. That way the mist goes right through. This, of course, would go around your patient's head and right to their stoma or their trach. This will provide adequate uh, humidification for the trach in order to avoid complications due to lack of humidity such as colds and other things as such. There's a few troubleshooting items I'd like to go over. If you see that there's not enough mist coming through the uh, trach mask, then check your connections. The easiest thing to do is start at the patient and work your way backwards. So at first you check this connection here where the corrugated tubing meets the mask. If that's nice and snug, 
then you check the connection at the water bottle or the jet nebulizer. If that's also nice and snug, check the lid to make sure it's on right. If it's on sideways, it's going to create a, a void or a leak and the mist will not work properly. Same thing goes with the connection here at the adapter. If that's on sideways or slanted, it's going to create a leak and it's not going to work correctly. The other cause, it may be just that the jar has gone bad. It happens from time to time and the jar may be, need to be replaced. Power issues, as before, if there's a problem and it shuts off, you go to the front under the power button and you hit your reset button. You go to the back and check your cable all the way to the outlet. Make sure that it's connected. Make sure that it's a grounded outlet. Make sure that the outlet and the wire and the connector are not frayed or pinched or any conditions that would indicate that there might be a problem. If there is, please call us. We will send a technician and we will swap the machine out if necessary. Or we will troubleshoot it at your facility. Uh, there is no other maintenance for the machine other than to do the filter. And of course, once in a while you might wipe down the top of the machine with a damp cloth. All adjustments and repairs are to be referred to us at approved surgical supplies. Our machines also carry a manual on the side of the machine for any uh, further information you may require. Further information is also available to you upon request at approved surgical supplies. Just give us a call or fax us and we will send you the necessary information to answer your questions. I hope that this has helped you out sometime, somehow or somewhat to understand the 50 PSI compressor and what it's used for. It's not a very difficult machine to use, although some parts do take a little bit of experience to get used to. That concludes this portion of the uh, on-service, on in-service online with approved surgical supplies. Thank you very much, and uh, you have a good day.